I think it's nice to wear You could put a beer on top of that. Look at that. It's like a shelf. Bookshelf. Bookshelf pump. Dan from bodybuilderinthailand.com. Let's talk about what kind of performance enhancing drugs it takes to get a physique like Colin Von Moger. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are interested in this, and this information isn't widely available. It's impossible to tell exactly what kind of stack someone's running. So anybody that says, this person is on this stack, without actually having the person tell you truthfully, they don't know for sure, okay? They're speculating. And so I'm gonna say that right now, is that I'm speculating, but I do have a lot of experience. I know a lot of people in the industry. I know a lot of top coaches. And I can tell you that what I'm gonna talk about would be the protocol that a top coach would give someone to achieve a physique like Callum Von Moger's. And I'm also gonna tell you that if you take the same drugs that Callum Von Moger is taking, you will not look like Callum Von Moger. Okay, one of the things is that he has worked very hard with his diet and his training for many years and his physique is the accumulation along with that and the performance enhancing drugs that he's using, okay? It's the whole synergy all together. And so time, you cannot make up for it by using performance enhancing drugs, all right? This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I do not recommend you to do this. Do not attempt, all right? So the first thing that we're gonna talk about, let's just let's just go right into it, okay? Let's just go right into it, basically, what it kind of performance enhancing drug protocol it takes, okay? To achieve a physique like that. First things first, he's really dry. He's really dry and he's really round, and he has an incredible physique that most gym goers would be fucking ecstatic about to have that physique. Incredible physique, all right? And because of this, you know, maybe you want to say, you know, he's a big drug abuser because that, that's what a lot of people want to say about anyone that has really good success. But one of the markers of somebody that's on a lot of shit is that their skin quality. And, and he actually has very good skin quality. And that's one of the things that makes me think that he's not using excessive compounds. He's not using excessive dosages. It really just doesn't look like it, okay? So we all know Dallas McCarver just uh, passed away and that his autopsy results with his 55,000 nanogram per deciliter testosterone level, which is 55 times the amount of a normal 18 year old that is outside the highest range of testosterone levels. It's like, if somebody has an astronomic testosterone level, that's like a thousand nanograms per deciliter. That's highly unusual. And like, you know, maybe at 17, like, you know, when they first wake up in the morning, their balls just produced a burst of testosterone. They might have a thousand nanograms per deciliter. <laughs> and Dallas McCarver had 55 times that, right? 55,000 nanograms per deciliter. So that was the equivalent of, you know, roughly, you know, four bottles, 10 grams of testosterone a week, which is very alarming. And so we know that bodybuilders do use these massive dosages. So if there's guys here that want to, you know, say, no, you don't use, you don't use those drugs. He only uses 200 milligrams of test a week. Just, just shut up. Just go away. Just go away. Okay. This is reality here. Okay. And all right. So testosterone, that's first. That's what we always talk about with, uh, with a performance enhancing drug protocol. Testosterone, what it looks like is that Callum is running like 250 milligrams to 500, 600 milligrams of testosterone per week. He is round. Testosterone, it makes a added impact to the fullness of the muscle. Even if you're using something that traditionally does give fullness, such as like Trenbolone, it does give fullness, right? But it also gives a squarey look that it's very um, known for and other steroids have a really hard time imitating that squarey look that Trenbolone does give. And I really don't see a squarey look on Callum Von Moger, by the way. Uh, so testosterone, and the reason why I mentioned Trenbolone is because even if you do run Trenbolone without testosterone, adding in just one cc of testosterone a week makes a massive difference to the amount of fullness and like roundness and just like pop, like away from the body, pop 3D effect that the, that the muscles have. So it does look like he has testosterone in there. However, it does not look like he's running high levels of testosterone because 
as the testosterone levels go up above about five, 600 milligrams per week, you start getting mineral and vitamin retention and aldosterone levels rise that make water retention pretty much impossible to prevent. Um, the, the body will take in water and it will hold it between the skin. That's just basically the end of the story. Unless testosterone is on, you know, a more moderate range around 250 to 500 milligrams per week, you know, and maybe, you know, it's probe that he's using. So it would be like, usually probe comes in 100 milligrams per milliliter. So that'd be like every other day, like 350 milligrams per week. I mean, that would be reasonable. That would be something that, you know, I'd be, yeah, yeah, that looks about right. So that's the testosterone, right? Now the, the next compound is going to be, this is pretty interesting too, is because Arnold Schwarzenegger was known for this weak anabolic uh, that, that was his favorite. And it was like one of his secret weapons, right? And basically, Arnold and Franco would go back in the day, they would go, Franco Colombo, they would go to Europe and they'd bring back large quantities of this uh, anabolic back to America. And you know that Arnold Schwarzenegger is Callum's idol, right? He wants to be Arnold. Or he just played him in a movie, right? <laughs> he really imitates Arnold and good for him. You know, he does a great job doing it. So Rick Drayson talked about Arnold shooting him in the ass with this anabolic Primobolin. Primobolin. Primobolin, if you look at Callum's physique, if you look at Callum's physique, it really just screams Primobolin. <laughs> It really does. It really does. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you why. So one of the things with Primobolin is that it does not cause any bloating, but it also does not cause any really muscle fullness. Basically, it's just a very anabolic substance that over time adds quality muscle to the physique. Almost the way that like natural muscle looks. Like natural muscle, as you add the muscle over time, it, it never gets like this like big blown out, like round uh, or sharp. Uh, looking like cosmetic effect to the muscle, right? And uh, Primobolin doesn't do any of that either, but a lot of stuff does. I mean, testosterone will do that. Winstrol will do that. Uh, you know, Deep Ball will do that. Uh, tons of stuff will, will do these things. That, you know, they have a real cosmetic effect. And although Primobolin does seem to have like a minimizing water retention effect, so like less subcutaneous water, more dryness, Calum is dry as hell. Um, it does not really give this like muscle volumizing effect, right? It's really like a quality look. And if you look at Callum's muscles, his, uh, the quality is, is very high. He has very high quality. Uh, it, it looks dense muscle fiber. It does not look like wa muscle that has water pushed into it and is, you know, blowing it out. And then when he drops whatever he's on, it's going to go off. And, you know, he just had bicep surgery for tearing his bicep. And I think that you'll see in these coming weeks that he's really not going to lose too much, you know, as he recovers from that. Yeah, he'll probably lose a little bit, but I don't really think too much. And that's because of the fact that he's worked very hard for many years. And, you know, this is real muscle tissue that he's built up. So as far as like the dosage of Primobolin, I know you guys are going to say this is high, but, you know, it, Calum's a big guy. And he's not using a lot of testosterone. It doesn't look like he's using any D-ball because D-ball is like testosterone, but stronger and more water retention and more mineral retention that cannot be avoided. So it really does look like Primable and with the great looking skin, the mature, dense, fibrous looking muscle, it looks like he uses it like, you know, very frequently. And he's built a lot of his physique with the Primable. That's what I'm talking about. Not just on the cycle as a cosmetic effect, but it looks like his physique has heavily been, he's utilized Primable and heavily to build his physique. That's what it appears to be. And so, you know, he's, big, he's a big guy, 1,000 milligrams plus per week. He's not using a lot of testosterone and he's a very large man. And it looks like he's using Primable and at 1,000 milligrams plus per week you know, and he's been utilizing something like that over the long term, obviously, you know, coming down and going up. But I think that, you know, a lot of people, you know, may argue with that. But I think that if you talk to a lot of coaches that they're not going to be saying that what I just said 
is outside the realm of possibility. I think that generally an honest coach is going to say, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. There's a lot of dishonest coaches on YouTube too, so watch out about dosages. You know how everybody, you know, a lot of YouTube coaches were saying, Doubt, uh, Boston Lloyd is out of his mind. No pro uses 13 grams a week. All right, Dallas McCarver. All right, he's not the only one. He's not the only one in the history of bodybuilding who's ever done that, okay? So reality check, reality check. These coaches know that they're not telling the truth. So this is the truth, guys. There's also genetic freaks, though. <laughs> this is my time where, you know, I tell you all these, you know, yes, no, yes, no things, right? There's genetic freaks. Some people, you know, just need to run a few cc's of deco week, you know, and that's all they need and they can look fucking insane, all right? So that that does exist too, but it's definitely not what the general population needs to use. This is what the general population needs and it's the most likely for Callum. All right, so 1000 must 1000 plus milligrams of Primo Bullet per week. Very likely. Very likely the basis of what he's doing. All right, the next thing would be he's very grainy but he's not overly sharp. He's not uh, squarey. He is sharp. He is sharp, but he's very round and he's grainy. And it does look like he has Winstrol in his stack and not an excessive dosage, you know, 50 milligrams a day, that's pretty normal. I mean, that would be a reasonable estimate of what he's doing there. And as far as, uh, as, far as anabolics, that, I mean, that pretty much looks like it's it. We can go ahead and add in, a, you know, obviously he's using FDA human growth hormone. You know, obviously anyone who has experience with that can see that. So he is using FDA growth hormone. Does it look like he's using a lot? No, no, it does not. Because FDA growth hormone carries water retention as you go up in the dosages and there is nothing you can do about it. That's why a lot of bodybuilders, uh, IFBB pro bodybuilders, look like water bags in their guest posing. Like they literally look like the Michelin man when they guest pose because they are on high levels of FDA growth hormone in their off seasons and it causes water retention and there's nothing you can do about it. Callum doesn't have that look. Honestly, anywhere from two IU to six IU per day would be a good guess of what Callum's doing. And I would be very surprised if he's using anything more than that, you know, and then also, you know, what goes with that is, you know, some light insulin use usually as well. So something like five units a day. Uh, along with that, uh, it's very dangerous to use insulin, guys. Again, this is not advice. Do not attempt any of this. All right. So that that's about, that's about that. All right. So let's kind of go over what we talked about. You know, a lowish moderate dose of testosterone, something like 250 to five, 600 milligrams per week. Primo Bolin, 1,000 milligrams plus per week. And that's the main one that you really see. You know, people who have an eye for this stuff, they can look at Callum and say, Primo Bolin. Like he really looks like the textbook example of the cosmetic effects and the long-term effects of Primo Bolin. Quality. Quality! So, 1,000 milligrams plus Primo Bolin, 50 milligrams Winstrol per day, FDA growth hormone, two to six IU per day, you know, there's, and then insulin, you know, to go with that, it helps shuttle the nutrients across the cells, and it really has a strong synergy with growth hormone, um, and it looks like, you know, a low dosage of that as well, because again, high dosages of insulin screw the quality of people's physiques and again he has very high quality muscle very mature high quality muscle it's dense it's grainy it's fibrous now, it looks like he's using uh he's not an excessive insulin user whatsoever so that's that test premobolin winstrol fda growth hormone insulin why do i specify fda growth hormone because generic growth hormone is trash It just doesn't work the same. No matter what the IGF levels say, it just doesn't work the same. All right, guys. 
so that's uh you know basically what the average co honest coach would say he'd give you something like this protocol that I just laid out um, you know for guessing what Callum's physique you know what it took to get there and you know what he runs most coaches that are honest with you will uh, take that protocol and say yeah yeah I think that sounds about that sounds pretty close but again, you can't ever call out anyone's cycle and say exactly what they're running. So, I could be wrong. It could be off. And he could be using three cc's of deco week only. <laughs> you know, there are freaks out there. And we don't know. But this is, this is the most likely explanation. All right, guys. This is Dan from bodybuilderintailand.com.